What's happening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for episode number three, or stage number three, should I say, of the uh, Volta a Algarve and Bicicleta. Today's, uh, today's stage is a time trial between Lagoa and Lagoa, 18 kilometers, very flat, which is not going to be good for my team. Now, before we start this, if you haven't seen yesterday's episode, I highly recommend you to do so because it was a very, very good one. And without further ado, let's just jump in. Hopefully, we can keep a decent position in the GC, but I'm not exactly confident. Right, the time trial is on the way. Our first rider to leave will be Joe, Magali uh, Joe Magalia, sorry, in uh, 27 positions now. Uh, I would like to take a look and see if there's any uh, good riders already uh, on the road, but I'm afraid I do not know the start list of the Volta Valgarve by heart. So yeah, that's going to be a no from me, uh, and I'll see you for, uh, for Joe for the first time trial. He is not on... I mean, he's got a good day, he's a plus one, but he doesn't really have good stats, the, uh, the young Joao. So I'm not expecting uh, something amazing from him, if I'm going to be uh, fully honest. Hopefully, um, like, he can be uh, kind of like a benchmark for um, Rodriguez and Antunes. I think Rodriguez got slightly higher start in time trial, if I'm correct, but I could be wrong again. Um, currently in the lead is Daniel Hulgaard in Lagoa, but that soon will change because I think Frédéric Frison is on the road. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's he's more than on the road. Like he, he, he's flying uh, on this time trial. I don't know where he is. Uh, there he is. He's got two kilometers to go. We're going to take a look at Frédéric Frison's time trial. But it's most likely going to be first place for the uh, Belgian from Lotto Soudal as he crosses the line. And without surprise, Frédéric Frison takes the, the lead. 22-58 for him, 105 ahead of uh, Daniel Hulgaard. Yeah, he's on another planet. Andreas Legnesund, the, the uh, Norwegian Central Champion. Oh, wow. Okay, I, I thought it would have been like someone like Tobias Foss or Bois Nagen. Or I'm in Grand Alliance, but no, it's Andreas Leknesund. Okay, interesting. I wasn't aware of that. Um, he's going to cross the line in position number uh, somewhere around second, I guess. Yep, second place. Okay, we're not going to take a look at Marco Matis because I can't really give a shit. Uh, Jorge Ma oh, it's not Joao. I've, I've called him Joao for like ever. It's actually Jorge. Jorge Ma uh, or, or Jorge. No, Jorge? No, Jorge. Wait, do, do we say Jose Mourinho? Oh, no, I say Jose Mourinho. Uh... I can't think of anyone called... I'm going to go with Jorge. Jorge Magalhães. I'm so sorry for my Portuguese. I'm genuinely sorry. Uh, currently a minute down at the uh, second intermediate. Wait, a minute down on Frédéric Frison, you know what? That's... That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Considering, like... I mean, um, he's meant to be shit. It's not too bad. It's currently Tom Bully, though. Uh, right, where is where is Mr. Bolly? He's oh he's right behind me. Is he going to overtake me before the line? We're gonna try and make everything to prevent that from happening. Jorge Magalhães is going to sprint across the line. Nice one. It's P9 and Tomboli takes second place. But uh, we finished one minute and fourteen seconds behind Frédéric Frison. Good, good first time trial. Second rider for us is going to be Samuel Caldera. Uh, I think he is. The best time trialist in this team uh, with his base stats. So I'm looking for something that would be extremely similar to uh, to uh, Joe Rodriguez. He's got 68 in time trial, which is the same stat as uh, as our leader. There's a new leader actually uh, in uh, in Lagoa. Frédéric Frison has been overtaken by uh, the uh, former rider from uh, Turinga um, yeah Turinga Energy team or uh, from Movistar. I can't even say it was Jasha Sutelin because it's now Ryan Mullen in the lead, the uh, young Irishman from Trek Segafredo, former rider from Unpost, I believe. Oh, actually, wait, did he? No, he did not. He wrote for the other team. Was it Aqua Blue Sport um, for Ryan Mullen? I can't, I can't exactly remember. Uh, maybe he'll come back to me at one point. Uh, but Samuel Caldera, though, on, uh, on the road, 22 seconds behind Ryan Mullen at the first intermediate. That's decent. Um, that's not too bad. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to just. I came back on the. It was, oh, he did what for. He he wrote for Ryan Post. I'm a legend. Fucking ah, I love cycling. 
Okay, uh, we're gonna see the intermediate time of Samuel Caldera, the second one, and then uh, we'll most likely see his final time. Come on, Samuel. Do something decent. Show your strength. Show why you're the big man in this team. You're not, but 52 seconds behind, Josh, uh, behind uh, Ryan Mullen. Uh, yeah, it's correct. Uh, cross the line for Caldera, 14th, 101, uh, which makes him currently the uh, highest ranked Portuguese. He is six seconds ahead of uh, UAE Evo Oliveira. And as Ricardo Mestre starts, there might be a new sheriff in town. Yves Lampart is currently on an absolute mission. Uh, he is, I think, 10 seconds, 8 seconds quicker than, uh, than Ryan Mullen after intermediate number 2. He was already first um, at the first intermediate. We're just going to take a look at the final 2 kilometers for the uh, Belgian from Dequin quick Quickstep. We had um, the other Mestre, I think that was Daniel. Daniel Mestre crossed the line in 40th position, 131 behind, uh, behind Ryan Mullen. And Yves Lampard indeed takes first place in Lagoa, 12 seconds quicker than the Irishman from Trek Sugafredo. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Mr. Oh, very good time for that um, coming up for uh, Leonard Kemner. There is Mestre. He is very far down the order. However, Patrick Bevin takes first place at the first intermediate. We may have uh, a New Zealander on top today. He is our first leader. Uh, oh, sorry, our first rider to leave. With uh, well, in the same group as the uh, the main peloton, that my, my sentence was not uh, correct from an English standpoint. I hope you understood it. Ricardo Mestre is going to cross the line, but he's been shit. However, Patrick Bevin has not been shit. Twenty second quicker than everyone else for um, for him, and actually he's only one minute fifty five in the GC down. So he might be able to overtake a few of the guys that are not good in time trial, such as Edgar Pinto. Uh, or Antunes or Joe Rodriguez. So that's quite scary. Uh, but for now, Pinto navigating uh, around 50 seconds away from uh, Mr. Bevin. Oh, Rondonis is already in the lead. Is Rondonis in the same time as everyone else? The answer appears to be no. Actually, wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, he is. He is. Shit. Well, Bevin's going to probably uh, win this entire thing, though. Right, penultimate rider for us to leave, Amaro Antunes. And uh, he is followed by Maxim and Schachmann, who himself is followed by the main man, Joao Rodriguez. Uh, I am absolutely shitting my pants, let's be honest, because I know that this time troll is not going to go well for us. Did it Garpinto has been overtaken by... Okay, only by uh, by Vinipol, but soon by Ron Dennis. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant, I love that. Okay, uh, let's not care about Remco Vinopoul, let's care about, um, about Edgar Pinto. Actually, do I? No, I don't care about Edgar Pinto. Let's care more about someone like Amaro Antunes or, um, or Joe Rodriguez. We're just going to sprint 99 with Pinto until the line. There we go, it's far down the order. M uh, Remco Vinopoul in second place, Patrick Bevin easily, easily in first place. Okay. So let's let's say that if I want to win this tour, all right, I need to finish second. So that's me don't know that's that's my work finished. There's no way I'm doing this. I'm on 30 sec 38 seconds down, Joe Rodriguez 40. Dan Martin 26. How? How is Dan Martin better than me in a time trial? Like what's happening? That's not normal. Uh, um, I mean they're all better than yeah, they're they're all literally smashing me right now. And by far the, uh, the worst rider, I'm going to be uh, dropping out of the top 10 with uh, both Antunes and Joe Rodriguez, which is a shame. But uh, I guess that's just uh, how uh, how time trial goes when you don't have a good time trial list. Although I'm, I'm surprised, like, I've got 71 and 70. I was expecting something uh, a bit better, maybe, but I was, uh, I'm, I must have been deluded. Charmando, 21 seconds down the order. Uh, the one that surprises me more is like Dan Martin. We have the exact same time trial stats, yet he's 14 seconds quicker than me. I can't really fathom it. Uh, I think it's just that I don't want to accept that. Because, I mean, I'm being beaten on a time trial by Dan Martin. He's literally 30 seconds quicker than me. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, Amar Antunes soon going to cross the line. The former rider from CCC. We're going to sprint until the line now. Uh, now. For him, across the line for Antunes, it's 37th, 144 down the order. 
uh, yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, Joe Rodriguez going to cross the line as well. Can he finish uh, ahead of Amaro Antunes? I'm not going to lie. I don't have a clue. Don't think so. 44th, 149. Nope. We're going to be dropping out of, uh, out of the top 10. Now, Martin, 124. That was a very disappointing time trial for me today. Uh, yeah, very disappointing. Rondonis takes the lead ahead of Evenepoel, Schachmann, Thomas Nibeli, Molema, Dan, uh, Magonra, sorry, Mugonra Lopez, Nan Martin, Dylan Van Barlen, Tim Wellens. Um, mountain wise, that doesn't change. Points wise, Rondonis makes a move up to second place. Remke Evenepoel becomes the best young rider. And the team Ineos beats us now in the team classification. Okay. Uh, one, two for uh, Oceania. Oceania, sorry. Sorry? Sorry. Um, yeah, disappointing. This, uh, to, to quote uh, Stormzy, I'm still disappointed. I didn't think I was going to be this far down the order, if I'm honest. I was like 18 kilometers. I was like, all right, sure. I, I'm going to be at 120 down on, on Dennis. But then, like, I'm not going to lose more than 40 seconds on the peloton. I, I lost a minute. And, like, even losing 30 seconds on the time trail to, to Dan Martin is extremely peak. GC wise, we're now dropping to 16th and 17th. Uh, it's not over yet. Like, the GC ain't over. I think there's still, like, I'm hoping that there are some uh, healy stages. This one isn't. Uh, and okay, there's one healy stage left, which will be the final stage of this uh, Volta Well Garve. But uh, I guess that gives me something to fight for. I'll see you in tomorrow's episode, hopefully. To make sure to do so, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave a like down below if you've enjoyed it. Uh, if there's any race, any continental race you want me to record, please let me know uh, which race with which team and uh, the reason behind it. And yeah. I've been back all. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm bleeding. What am all the money feeding? I don't wanna go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.